What's up, guys? Um, I'm over here at the desk here. Uh, I got a yeah, HP laptop. This is Sarah's laptop. Um, now, laptop. Yeah. <laughs> now we have a hard drive in here that needs to be taken out. It's currently running my Linux um, Mint 17.1 Rebecca. Um, so she wants to run Linux Mint also on her hard drive, which is right here. Um, this has Zorn OS 9. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is removing the hard drive in this um, HP 15 notebook here. Now if you're, not, if you're not sure, it's pretty difficult to get into the hard drive. Most laptops nowadays, you can just access the hard drive by opening up a panel on the bottom. But with this one, we're going to actually have to take off the whole back, back cover, the whole front cover, the keyboard, and then we'll be able to access it. So it's kind of difficult, but uh, it's not as hard as you guys think. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Um, now I'm going to get a close-up, try to get a close-up. As you can see, there's a bunch of screws. Now every screw we're going to have to undo. Now make sure not to lose those. We're also going to have to undo this as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on with that. Um, just making sure we're getting this. Now I'm probably going to speed through this. That way, you know, I don't have to come up with stuff to talk about because um, I'm just going to be unscrewing stuff early. So I'll just speed through this real quick in the editing. What are you doing again? Me? I'm removing your hard drive. Um, so how difficult is it? I did it last night. No, I'm saying like how difficult is it compared to other computers? Uh, other laptops. Very difficult because then I can just remove a cover like this and it'd be done. With this, I have to remove this plate, flip it over, and remove the top plate. So yeah, it's not fun at all. Because it's a HP. HP. Yay. I should have never gotten an HP. Okay, guys, real quick, I'm going to show you some of the um, ribbons that you're going to need to remove. You're going to make sure you, you remove all of them and be very careful not to touch any of the uh, the motherboard, the PCB, um, the RAM PCB, or the Wi-Fi adapter, or any of that. You don't want to touch the PCB. So I'm actually going to have my girlfriend pop up the um, webcam, which is right there. So I can make sure I'm getting a good view. You take the webcam and just bring it over here real quick and show you the PCB. Okay, so here's a motherboard. Here's your LAM slots. Here's some ribbon cables. You're going to need to remove this ribbon cable right here. You're going to need to remove this ribbon cable. Are you sure? Yeah, look. Okay. There you go. Okay, you're going to need to remove this ribbon cable. This little connector here for your, uh, I believe, Wi-Fi card. And you're going to need to remove... Um, there you go. This this ribbon cable right here. Now, how to do that? Could you hold, come hold this for me, real real steady? Try try to use both hands. Maybe. Steady. You know. I'm okay. Not steady at all. So we're just gonna take this cable right here, move it to the side, push and lift up, just like that. See how easy that was? We're gonna set that aside. Now there's a little latch right here. You're gonna take and pull up, pull out the ribbon cable, making sure not to touch the PCBs. Um, now you're going to need to do the same with this tiny little ribbon over here. Could you move that in to this one so they can see that real good? All right, you're going to want to okay. pop it up. Okay, and then you're just going to want to get it loose. Okay, it's loose. Then over here, we're going to do the same with this one. I'm going to pop that one up, make sure it's loose, pull that one out. Now, how to get the CD drive out. Now bring it back over to get the full, kind of zoom out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the CD drive's over here. Um, so what you're going to do is actually take a screwdriver, making sure not to touch the PCB, 
and taking and putting it right into this this little hole here. See if you can get that real good. Okay. That as good as I'm gonna get. Okay, so we're gonna just take that and we're gonna. Pop. Actually, you know what? No, we need to do this first. I kind of messed up and forgot to remove these screws. So let me remove these screws real quick. Before I do. It's so off now. It is. There we go. It's okay. better. Now I'm just removing the screws that are in here. I did forget to do that. Um, that's very important to do because if you start pulling it out, you're going to wind up damaging it. So let me uh, remove the screws first. It's always good to be working with a lightly magnetic um, screwdriver bit here um, because you don't want any of the screws falling down on top of the... Uh, we you laughing about? Because you lose those screws. Yeah, you're kind of screwed. screwed. <laughs> No pun intended. No pun intended. Pun intended, ah. Well, it is kind of a serious matter. Yeah. So the pun is not intended. Okay, so we're going to need to remove this one as well. Now you're just going to make sure to remove all the screws that are connecting this black um, plastic covering. Um, we'll make sure to remove them all. Okay. It's very important because if you start tearing it out, you're going to wind up ripping um, some components all to shreds, basically. Um, so yeah, that one's out. That one's out. Sorry guys, I got bad eyes. Need to make sure everything's out. Looks like it is. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can do this again. Get into here, pop out the CD drive, and here's the CD drive. Just like that. Slide right out. Um, there's like a little metal um, latch type deal that you have to take a screwdriver and just push it out um, after you unscrew everything, of course. Okay, now that, that that's done. Now here comes the tricky part. We're gonna have to actually lay this on its back or on its um, bottom, which means there's no protective covering over your PCB or any of the uh, components here. So what we're gonna have to do is find something we can lay this on, um, like a book, something of that nature maybe. So I wanna be careful not to uh, mess no. up any of the screws or anything. No, that thing. Thank you though. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna need something else. Um, Oh, this, will, this will be fine right here. Pack of batteries. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it just like this. Okay? Just like so that. So the, the hardware is not touching the book. Exactly. Exactly. Now what we're going to need to do is get our little screwdriver here and find the bottom. And we're going to have to pop. Now you can hear a lot of popping and cracking. Don't worry, it's not breaking. As long as you're being gentle. Yeah, you're popping out the, the pins that connect this uh, top here. So you're fine. Uh, make sure it's looking at it correctly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's it's kind of a tedious job doing this part. Um, but hey, this is how HP wants to get their stuff. Yeah. So Just be careful not to shove the screw in there. Yeah. Or the screwdriver in there and like start wiggling start it all around. around. Yeah. Because you will mess some stuff up. Yeah, I did this all last night. I, I had no problems with it. I did exactly what I'm doing now. Um, so if you guys just follow along with me, you'll be completely fine with um, popping this out. You just got to be delicate and careful. <laughs> so actually on this part, I'm going to stand up and just use my fingers to lightly pull uh, the top up. Okay. So there, is, there it is. Here we have the uh, panel, the... Um, um, keyboard and everything. So we're going to take that and flip it upside down, making sure not to lay it down on the exposed parts. Um, so now we have this. This is what we're left with here, guys. Now we finally can see where our hard drive is. As you can see, there is a USB ribbon cable that goes across the hard drive. So now what we're going to have to do is pop this pin up very carefully. Pull that pin, uh, ribbon cable out of there. Now there is a little bit of sticky stuff right here. That's fine if you remove that. Um, actually, I'm going to have my uh, girlfriend hold the camera for me so I can uh, get in and unscrew these um, screws right here. Um, need a screwdriver. Actually, where is my matting? Excellent. Okay. And I'm just going to unscrew these two screws, actually three screws that are holding in this hard drive cage. Um, now this hard drive cage is a little weird, um, if I do say so myself. Um, it's it's not your typical hard drive cage for a laptop, but uh, then again, we're talking about HP. <laughs> we're talking about HP, so they are weird in the things that they do. 
Um, they do things that do not make They don't want to be like anybody else. Yeah, they want to have some... They want to make it really difficult yeah. for everybody. Yeah, that, that's why the people just go ahead and buy it and buy new laptops and just exactly. upgrade and spend like, lots of money. Um, so now we're just going to remove the cage. Now there is going to be, get this shot over here, baby. Get this cable, this black cable that's pinned okay, right here. It's right there, I got it. I got it. Okay, now that is your power and IDE connect. You're going to be very careful taking this out. Okay. You want to be very careful. Careful. I'm saying it right. It's hard to get off too. Yeah, isn't it? it is. They make it kind of difficult for us. Let's see. As you can see, this was probably the most difficult thing I did um, last night, to be to be truthful with you guys. Is trying to get this sucker from um, getting ripped out of it. There we go. There it is. Finally came out of there. Okay, so now we're going to take this, and now we're going to have to um, take the screws off this cage. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, skip to this part, just fast forward probably. Because we want to make sure that we have these screws over here so that we know what it's, where it goes mm -hmm. to. Because you don't want to lose your screws. This is the worst thing that could happen is you have different screws and you try putting them in and then you damage something. <clears throat> and then you're like, well, I did everything I was supposed to do. But then again, you forgot to use the right screws, my friend. <laughs> Hey, 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 oh. <laughs> it's hot in here, guys. Whew. I know. Oh, we need a fan, but I didn't want to use a fan in here because it would be way too loud. We could use our actually our um, oscillating fan. Is that That's what, what you're talking about? I thought you were talking about the box no, loud fan. I was fan. thinking like about the other one. Crazy loud. Okay, so now we've got okay, the cage so off. Okay, so got the cage off. Now what we can do is get the original hard drive, which is right here. Yeah. And now, put it in the cage. Now we get to put that in the cage. Okay, we want to make sure that we got it in correctly before we start screwing this in. Yeah. Um, line up those holes. Line up the holes. Now this is, can be tricky. I actually lost a screw doing this yesterday. We oh, had to, God. We were crawling around on the floor to yeah. find it. They're so tiny, guys. Seriously. And it They're rolled so pretty tiny. darn far, too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the bad thing about having um, uh, tile flooring. Mm -hmm. Is that little screws like this can roll bounce pretty bang and far and and bounce as well. Bounce on the gum. Yep. You got it in there, or you got it sideways. And it's in there. Pretty you sure. sure it is. Yep. Yeah. Just want to make sure you tighten it down. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then we go with this one. Try to cut. What you're going to have to do, they're very hard to get in. They're so tiny. You're going to have to find the hole and try to get the um the screw already in there. there we I was going to try to help you. <laughs> Just as you were, I, I got I it know. in. Sorry, guys, I have a hard time putting small things in small holes. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, small things in any type of hole, actually. Okay. So that's done. Now, this is a job that will probably take you, like, 20 minutes if you're a noob. Like, if this is the first time you're doing it, you're going to want to be very careful. All right, so that's it. So now what we get to do is put it back in. Let's put it back in. So now, I'm going to maybe have someone to hold this cable up for you. Yes, hold on. Let me put this down. Yep. Is it good right there? That is perfect. Take that. Perfect. Yeah. The line? No, I'm not. Okay, so I am okay. holding the cable. Just hold that cable while I uh, connect this in. Into the... Uh, that one. Yeah. That one. Oh, that one. <laughs> and there we go. There she is. Now we're going to set her back down into the uh, little... Caddy, or whatever you want to call it. Um, now we need three screws. We know that that took three screws. Yeah, it's in there. I feel like there's always a little raise over here on this side. No, it's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Don't okay. well, rub it all up on that. I know. Well, I'm telling I'm just showing you that. 
the hard drive um, is not being rubbed up against the metal because it, the metal is kind of raised, oh. so it, it will guard it from the PCB, the motherboard. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Sorry. That's fine. Right. Well, now, you don't, have to, you don't have to be macho man when you're putting in these screws, guys. No. You don't have to, um, like, tighten it down crazy because not only can you um, strip it, also you can uh, ruin, ruin the computer, ruin the components that are underneath the screws, possibly. Um, and you can ruin the screw itself. So Just get it in there tight Yeah, enough. we want to make sure it's snug. Like, but not, like, stripping turns. it. or Exactly. Do a couple of turns after you get it all the way in, and it should be good to go. This one's kind of difficult because it's weird. over there. No, it's in, look how small, hard it is yeah. to get my fingers in here. So then, That's here. why you have a magnetic screwdriver. Exactly. Now we're going to attach the cable again because you bring your Sorry. camera over here. Hold on, hold on, I'm thirsty. Okay. I'm going to have to pause a second. I got my girlfriend uh, over here helping me out. I'm thirsty. Hey, when she's thirsty, she's thirsty. So, no, kind of get on this side. Come around. No, come around. There you go. And point down into here. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Now, once you hear that click, that means it's in. It's not going in. Don't be afraid to give it a little... A little jam. It feels like it's not going into... There we go. There we go. That's now a click. It's There's a click. There's um, a actually, click. could you let me have the camera real quick? Oh, the leg fell off. Yeah, the, uh, web, um, the webcam has a tripod leg. But you're going to need to set it back down, so unless you want to hold it the entire time. I can hold it the entire time. Okay. You can, okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is put the top back on. Now this is just going to require us snapping it down in. We're not going to have to do any, you know... Blow it off or anything? No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine, baby. Just making sure there's no dusty You're, It's all good. Okay, so now we're going to just edge. go ahead. And this is just going to pop right back in. Is Which that why is, it was popping when I would open it and close it? M maybe. Um, I think that's somewhere another part of the, like the bottom part. The bottom, uh, the bottom um, piece popping. I mean... Or that piece where your hand's already on. Maybe. It sounded like it was around there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let me make sure it's... Side. Which side? That there side that you're on. Right here? Yeah. Get it in here. It's not on. Well, then let me get it there. I know, I was just letting you know. Okay. I'm going to make sure it's all on. Nice and good. It's in. It's in. I mean... Oh, okay. It's, yeah. It's definitely in there, baby. Um, now we're going to close it. Now we're going to flip it upside down. And now we're gonna attach the um, whew, attach the uh, little um, ribbons here. So could you actually come over here? Oh, I have come it. Come closer. Well, I want you to come up closer because this one is kind of hard to get on. Um, My hands are low. You can't see it at all. There we go. You're just gonna want to push that onto here. Okay. See how it's now? It's you know kind of. Yeah. On there? Okay, now I'm going to get this one. Make sure to get over, over where my finger's pointing. I can get it. Is it light not in there or something? Because it doesn't look like it's even There we go. Showing. That's a lot better. Okay, so there's a little ribbon cable right there. You're going to take and just... Don't don't force it. You don't want to force any of these ribbon cables or anything because you could actually ruin them. Um, so let's go ahead and put this ribbon cable down. So there that is. That's in there securely. Um, if you don't think it's in there... Securely, you can just go ahead and lift up. Yeah, because that one wasn't completely in. Yeah, it didn't look like it was. One corner was out. One corner was out, just a wee bit. So this is a a, a time-consuming yeah. thing. They make it they make it so that it takes you some time. Oh yeah. Or so so you want to have someone else pay do, to it. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Which, hey, if you want me to do it, I don't mind. I'll give you a discount. I would definitely... He's a lot cheaper than... Anyone around here. I'll tell you the truth. This Seriously. side does not want to go in. So we're going to make it go in. Difficult. We're going to make it go in. We just did. We didn't force it. We just took our time with it, which is what you have to do with these type of things. 
Now we got this NB or N8 um, ribbon mm -hmm. cable. You want to make sure you that, little sucker in there. that little sucker goes in. I heard the little snap. I heard the little snapper boo there. A little snippy snappy. Okay, now we're going to put in the hard drive. Or the, um, not the hard drive, the um, CD, drive. CD drive. Excuse me, sorry for that. Um, this is easy, okay? So obviously this is going to be the top, this is going to be the bottom because here's a little latch that we use mm -hmm. to push out with our screwdriver. So could you get actually come over here so I can show them where it's at? Like you're going to have to probably face straight down. Okay, so see this little opened area right here? Watch, you're going to see like a silver piece come sliding up. Ready? There it is. Yep. Did you see it? Okay, so that's where you use your screwdriver to push the, hard, um, the, uh, the drive out. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and put all the screws back into the rightful places. Hopefully not messing anything up. So right now I'm just going to fast forward through the screw, um, the screwing in, if you will. Ah. Ah. Um, That's the most time consuming part. Yes, is screwing, screwing everything in. Screwing everything in. And I could also say that the cables, putting the cables on and whatnot mm -hmm. would also be time consuming in the manner. Okay, now that's on. Last one going in now, which is right here. And then now we can actually put on the top. So we're going to put the plate on, making sure the ribbon or any of the cables are not in the way because you do not want to crack or damage any of those cables. Now this is going to be kind of difficult. It's going to be popping and snapping and you're thinking you're crushing components, but you're not. It's actually popping into little pins that are on the inside. And now we're just going to screw this in very lightly, not to um, strip it or put it on too tight because this screw right here is very delicate. All right, so it looks like we're done with that part. So now we can actually install the battery. So what about the battery. all the other screws that go in? Oh my goodness. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Good job. I'm going to have to put all these little, little screws in here, which gives me another chance to um, fast forward the video. <laughs> Yay. Aren't you glad I reminded you? Yeah. But I could, I, you could still actually put I know. Up. No, I know. Wait, thank you for getting me on the right track here. Yeah, because, I mean, you don't want to put all the screws yeah. and fall apart. Yeah, that would not happen. But here we go. <laughs> I know. Putting the screws in. She's being goofy, guys. Yeah. She's a goof troop. My goof troop. You can see the sweet tarts. What? No, those are my sweet tarts. Don't be looking at my sweet tarts now. Those are my chewy sour sweet tarts for my diabetes. Yes, people, I do have type 1 diabetes. And yes, when people talk about having sweets for diabetes, they're talking about having type 1 diabetes because sometimes your insulin or your um sugar. your sugar gets way too low and you begin to way, pass out and actually then, go into a coma Yeah. and die. So exactly. having sugar... Um, candy and sweets and stuff around is very important for a type 1. Sugar tablets that you can get at any store. Yes, fast-acting carbs is the best yes. way yes. to go. Make sure you always bring your insulin, always bring your sugar tablets. Listen you know, to the girl, listen stuff. to the girlfriend. Your health has gotten so much better since being it here. Has. It has. Uh, if you go back and look at how I was when I lived up in Maine, the past videos of me up in Maine, and look at me now. I've I gotten look, onto his but a hundred percent better. What'd you say? He said I've gotten onto his butt yes. about it. Yes, she has. Okay, so we are done. You. And I love you. We are done. We're installing the battery now, which is a very small battery, if I do say so myself. Okay. Probably dies so fast. Yes, exactly. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, guys, real quick. Um, you probably noticed we did have a little hiccup there. In order to boot into the hard drive that was just installed, we actually needed to enable and disable the legacy boot um, order in the BIOS. So uh, in order to do that, we just hit uh, F1 and then F10, and we went into the systems and information, and then went over to the legacy um, uh, support, and then we enabled it and then disabled it, and then we went down and changed the legacy boot order into um, into the USB key or the hard drive. If you have a hard drive, then you make sure that's first. If you want to boot into a USB um, key, you make sure the USB disket. Um, boot option is is enabled. Um, so right now we are um, booting into Linux Mint 17.2. There we are. So now what we basically just did is we changed out the hard drive that's on our HP 15 notebook and uh, are getting ready to boot up into and install Linux Mint 17.2 via USB key onto 
the previous hard drive that's on here. Um, so let's go ahead and get into doing that now. Um, that's done with this video. This video is not about installing Linux Mint 17.2. This video is for you guys learning how to um, remove and install a new hard drive in Linux, or um, excuse me, on a HP uh, 15 um, notebook here. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, um, if you have a hiccup or something like that, just go ahead and comment down below, and I will try to reply to you guys on uh, what I can do, if I can fix it for you, or if I can research it up for you guys and find out what's wrong with your laptop. Um, but, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.